Okay, this is Demetrios, as you can see, a big cynical adventure. Now this is a prototype for a, for a uh, Kickstarter campaign. I'm just going to switch to the Kickstarter campaign now, which is there, there we go. You can see it is actually already funded, there's 40 hours to go, so a day and a half by the time you see this. And it has a lot of... Uh, Lots of support there. The aim of some stretch goals, and it has a demo, which is uh, approximately one sixth of the game, about two hours of gameplay, and the demo is already available for Linux. Uh, just in a small twist of fate, as we scroll through the screenshots here, and you see his inspirations down here you'll note that several of these games are currently on sale on GOG for the GOG Autumn Sale. I'll switch back to the game now. There we go. So I don't do a lot of uh, videos of Kickstarter stuff. Let's just start a new game. But I do like it when Kickstarters do it right like for instance providing a linux demo after they've said there's going to be a linux version rather than saying yes we'll do linux and then six months later saying oh well we've not really started developing the linux version yet which is uh you know happens all too frequently so i will probably be backing this game i mean point and click adventures are, are a genre that's grown on me in recent years uh, i never really got on with them in the you know in my youth the 80s and 90s but in the age of being able to look up the solutions on the internet, I find them much easier to deal with. In that, when the solutions are insane, I can just Google them, and it's fine. Uh, as far as I can tell, these Alt Enter shortcut doesn't work. I've not been able to make it play in a window. All right, so this is the background story. Uh, presented a nice uh, cartoony art style. He's arriving home drunk, and he's going to uh, go to bed. Phone call. So I'm guessing you can uh, probably watch over all this later. Uh, there's another few minutes of the, of the uh, cutscene. He hangs up on the warning that he's in grave danger. He thinks it's a prank. And uh, he gets attacked and knocked out. So he's not going to go fishing with Tom today because he's going to try and figure out why he got knocked out. And, uh, start off in his apartment. Chapter 1. So, I already played this a little bit ago. I did turn the volume down, although it doesn't seem to, um... Started a new game and started a new game, put the volume back up. But there you go. That's just the way it works. So there's a lot of stuff lying around in the department. It's a usual usual deal. Click on stuff. Sometimes it's important stuff, sometimes there's a sometimes there's witty discussion. And it is, uh, it is one of those particular, it's a particular style of uh, adventure game humour. And grab the can. Sausage flavour cassoulet. With twice more sausages. The can contains two sausages. So I'm sure you're getting the idea by now. Best before October. Excellent. 
he's holding on to that. Hey, crisps, how nice. So we've got a right shoot. Where's the other one? I'm guessing it's over there. So let's head into the bedroom. Um, there's some entertaining stuff in the, in the bedroom. Barbie has big boobs. Finally a book that tells the truth. A cooking book, which will be important later. Some various other things. You can look at all of these, all of these uh, in the demo. Uh, the statue is the uh, important one for the plot. There we go. The tablet's gone missing. Shaped like a lightning bolt. So now we know what the thief has taken. Earplug in that drawer. Socks in that drawer. Here's a flashlight though. Handy flashlight. But we need to find replacements for the flashlights. So let's head back out from the living room and uh, snip in the bathroom here. Clippers, toilet water, deodorant, blusher. Paint. Not really useful. Let's head to the toilet. Uh, there's a pile of magazines. Toy cars, toilet paper, cleaning products. We can use the toilet. And it is much like you'd expect. How nice. Let's uh, head back now and I'll see if I can remember uh, how to solve the puzzles in advance. That drawer stuck. Oh, there's some crisps there, how handy. Let's have a look in the storeroom. Uh, handcuffs. Hmm. Don't need them for now. Oh, look. It's a mini vibrating Eiffel Tower. Has batteries, how convenient. So we're gonna in traditional adventure game style we combine things in the inventory and then this cardboard box which we can't see a thing because there's not enough light. Fortunately we have a light now. Got a small key. But what does it open? There isn't really anything. There isn't really anything going on. I'm not entirely sure how I put the torch down. Oh, there we go. That works. So uh, let's head back to the living room. Outside. Oh, it's Sandra. Sandra heard noises in the hall last night, which may be to do with maybe to do with you getting attacked in that bit of story I skipped over at the start. Tells us about the two men, one with a deep voice, foreign, one high pitched. And oh, by the way, can you lend me a cookery book? Alright then. So let's go back inside, back into the bedroom, because there was a cookery book here next to the big boobs book. There we go. Let's 
head back across. And uh, doorbell. Hey Sandra. There's the cookbook. wanted to be a cook and now because you've lent her this book she can and as a result we get this lighter which may have belonged to the men arguing last night who may also be the men who are knocked you out for Hector my friend and an address which we can now go and investigate for dinner. Excellent. So you can see it's a uh, pretty standard point and click adventure game. It's a, uh, a nice graphical style, sort of a playful, playful hand-drawn art style. Um, puzzles seem mostly straightforward. Uh, pretty good. Um, and yeah, it's already met its Kickstarter goal. We'll definitely be able to learn this version because we're looking at it right now. I think uh, this is one of those projects that's, de that's worth backing. Uh, it's a fairly small goal. I'm sure given this the state of this, this demo, uh, there's not going to be much problem finishing off the game. It's just going to be a matter of time. And uh, yeah, it all seems pretty promising. If you're into point and click adventures or, you know, slightly juvenile humour, then uh, check out the Kickstarter. I'll post the link in the description.